Hey, how is going? Adam here. Today we're gonna start my first water cool build. I am very excited about this one. I was waiting for a long time to finally finish it. At least with all the parts we're gonna be in the video description. But let's stop all the nonsense and let's get into it. For my build I will use a modified Parvum S2.5. It's an MITx case, not very popular but a very well designed one. For my CPU I choose an 1700X, it's an 8 core 16 thread CPU which is paired with a B350M from MSI. Not very many MITx AM4 motherboards to choose from so I went with this one. Let's start by mounting the CPU. Align the triangle from the CPU with the triangle on the motherboard. Just place it over, it shouldn't need any force. As you can see, I already placed the cooler backplate. I will use the Supremacy EVO on which I already added the M4 bracket and the orange logo. From here it's just a matter of screwing them slowly. Now that we have the CPU and the block mounted, let's add the water block to the RAM. I use a 16GB kit of Corsair Vengeance at 3200MHz. To remove the initial heatsink, we need a heat gun. Just hover for 3-4 seconds on top of them and carefully place a card or something thin between the heatsink and the RAM stack. By the way, take care, they might be hot. I did the same for both sides and ended up with these clean RAM sticks. For the block I used EK Monarch for 4 sticks. Add the heat pads and just screw them together. And they are ready to mount to our motherboard. Let's do that by popping them in place. With the CPU and the RAMs mounted, the motherboard goes inside the case. Add the I.O. shield and carefully add the motherboard in. Screw it down and we can move to our M.2 SSD. I use the 250GB Samsung A960 EVO which will be used just to boot drive. Let's add the heatsink on it. First, let's change the logo on it to match the rest of the blocks. With this one, it's very simple, just add the thermal pads and sandwich the SSD between the two pieces. Now just add the two springs that will keep it safely together, couldn't be more easy. Let's put it into the M.2 slot on the motherboard. And our SSD is mounted to the motherboard as well. The PC is starting to take shape. Let's get to the GPU. I used the GTX 1080, it was the most reasonable price in the time of filming this video. By far the most nerve-wracking part is mounting the water block onto it, but with patience and a good screwdriver is a breeze. Just be careful when you remove the screws to not damage any transistors. The backplate and the cooler should come out very easy. Clean the old thermal paste, attach the thermal pads on the memory, VRMs and the rest of the parts. Place a good amount of thermal paste on the GPU and add the water block. Screw it in place and it's done. Now all that is left is to pop it in place and we can add the rest of the parts. Let's add the 80mm fans to the back of the case. I used noise blockers on which I added a dust filter and slipped the wires. Also I changed the 4 pin socket with an orange one. For my radiators I will use two EK 240mm PE with 120mm Corsair ML. Now I will add the radiator to the right side. The top one I will add it later. For my pump I use an EK1 with an EK heatsink and the reservoir is a beast power 150ml as well the cap and the fittings. I previously made the holes in the case so it should fit perfectly. Now I will add the RAM water block which I know that will be not so much a functional piece as it is just for the looks of it. Not so much time left so we're gonna have to stop here. The second part we're gonna be in the next video, when we're gonna add the tubing, the custom cables and the rest of the parts. Subscribe for more videos like this one and don't forget to leave a like to show your support. If you want to see more, have a look at some of my other ones. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next time.